Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I just got done um, making a remake of my um, original video. Uh, well, it was one of my. It, this is an old video. It's um, it, it, uh, the original video of this video is set on private on my channel because there's there's a lot of irrelevant shit on the original video and um, it got quite a few thumbs down because of it and um. And you guys know how I am when I'm when I'm talking. I, mean, I always try to stay on topic, but sometimes I go a little off topic. And and in 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 um, some cases, I go off topic for a long time too. And um, so I so what I did with my original video called my experience with pixies was I um, I recorded um, over uh, uh, the recording. Uh, I recorded over the video, over the original video, and I edited out all the relevant shit, and I'm just st stuck with the main story, and um, and I recorded, you know, just the main story itself, and then I posted. Uh, I just got done with the video now, and I just posted the video up on my YouTube now. But um, I do this all. I do this every time I um make a new video or something. You know, I always um listen to the video before I post it on YouTube to make sure I um to make sure I never miss to make sure I didn't to make sure I don't miss any um any shit I don't want to be in the video um any irrelevant irrelevant stuff and um and as I was uh as I was listening to my um to the edit to the uh to my to this video um like the remake of this video I started hearing voices in the background that wasn't my own. That wasn't my own voice. Um, voices of uh, other people talking, and um, the really creepy thing about it was um, the really creepy thing about this was um, when I was recording over the recording over the recorded video itself. I, I kept quiet throughout the entire video, and I was on my um, I was actually on my Xbox One playing my Xbox One with a uh, with the volume set on mute while I was recording over the original video, I had my uh, webcam right next to my um, speaker, you know, right here, and um, and there's nobody else inside my house besides me and my cat, and in this video, um, you hear like a female voice, you hear a male voice, and um, some of these voices don't exactly sound human, and um. And so you know, um, as you guys watch this video called "My Experience with Pixies," you'll see for your. I mean, you just listen. If you decide to watch it, uh, listen, you know, closely to the background noises noises that you hear in the video because you'll start hearing, you know, you'll start hearing shit. And um, and I'm still kind of creeped out by the whole experience too. But, uh, but yeah, I think I have some pretty some pretty wicked shit inside this house and um I, I know I do for a fact I mean one of the wicked fucking creatures inside this house happens to be attached to my astral body or my aura but um and I'm hoping I still like you know I have a hard time believing whether it's my astral body it's attached to or my um or my aura I can't figure out which one I would think if I if I didn't have if it got past my aura and started merging somewhat to my astral body, um, maybe it has. But I would think if um, I would think if that's the case, it would be able to merge with my astral body completely, and um, I wouldn't be here talking right now, more than likely. But um, I still think I do have an aura, you know, a protective psychic energy field, because it's still you know it's still not able to take over my body completely in my mind, let alone, you know, merge itself completely with my astral body, um, but yeah, uh, I also wanted to talk about the pixies that I did experience in the past and all that, that, that story, what I talk about on that video is true, I really did, um, see pixies and fairies in the past, and, um, I saw them clear as day, with my own eyes, physically, um, it's one moment in my life I'll never forget. Um, 
it, it will always stick with me till the day I die. Uh, no, I, I never really was one to believe in pixies or fairies. Um, I always thought that shit was part of a, part of, um, what do you call it, like, you know, Hollywood movies, Disney, little kids movies and shit like that. Um, but when I saw them from my own, own eyes, um, it, it, told, it, you know, I, I, I knew for a fact that fucking they were real, and, um, and there's a lot of, and there's a lot of ancient myths all around the world that talk about little people and pixies and fairies and shit like that, and, um, leprechauns and fucking dwarves, I mean, so, so be you, but fucking, uh, You know, you never, you grow, I mean, you grow up watching these, um, as a kid, watching these kid movies, and watching, you know, Seven Dwarves, or fucking, um, or fairies and shit like that, or like Peter Pan with his little pixie friend, or that little pixie girl and shit, and you never fucking, um, never realize just how, how much these fairy tale creatures are based on truths, like ancient myths and all that, and fucking, um, until you get older, and, um, depending on where your, uh, life path lays, lies, you know, if you're one person that wants to seek freedom and get the hell, and, and you do just about anything to fix your life, because it's so, because it's pretty shitty, um, and then you decide to, uh, delve into the occult and, and realizing that there is something there that can potentially, you know, fix your life, and then you start fucking getting on a, a much deeper, I don't know, I mean, a much crazier road, you know, to, um, freedom, and I think the only road, you know, to, to freedom is through, uh, the occult, I don't know, 